April 9th, 1944, Easter Sunday. Once again, U-boat commander Werner Henke's batteries are running out of power. Henke has to surface his boat, whether he wants it or not, because without a minimum charge of the batteries, he is um, virtually helpless. He can't dive, he can't uh, evade any danger. There has been no sign of their stalkers for hours. Henke decides to surface. He is careful to put as many lookouts and gunners as he can on deck. The sky stay clear, but only for 45 minutes. Lookout spots something off the port quarter. They identify warships, including an aircraft carrier heading their way. Henka immediately orders a crash dive. On board USS Guadalcanal, along with more fighter planes, Gallery orders destroyer escorts USS Pillsbury and Flaherty to locate and engage the enemy. All ahead, flank. Destroyer escorts carry a new weapon called the Hedgehog. It was called a hedgehog because it looked like a bunch of porcupine quills. They fired 24 mortar rounds. They made a, a circular pattern in the water. The actual new feature is that you can keep your sonar contact with the U-boat while attacking. They don't interfere with your detection signal, so you can keep the contact and go in for another attack. With USS Flaherty in support, Pillsbury launches a hedgehog attack. Open fire. One round makes contact and explodes. U-515 plunges as the water rushes to the rear of the submarine. U-boat commander Werner Henke and his crew work frantically to level the U-boat and stop it from sinking. The weight of the water drags the stern of the U-boat down by over 20 degrees. By replacing the water in the tank with air, it should lighten the submarine. At last, at a depth of about 660 feet, U-515 returns to balance. But then the submarine overcorrects. Water from the stern moves forward, which makes the bow heavier. Instead of gaining an even keel, the entire U-boat now rises rapidly to the surface by the stern. sudden, the U-boat breaks the surface out of control and at a very sharp angle. U-boat! U-boat! Henke gives the order to abandon ship. climbs onto the bridge. The destroyer escorts Pope, Chatelaine, and Flaherty encircle U-515, while Pillsbury and the escort carrier USS Guadalcanal close in. The American vessels surrounding him and um, airplanes flowing over his head. And um, yeah, so this was the moment of defeat. 